With most areas being shut down due to the coronavirus, finding new places to explore within a reasonable distance for a weekend trip is becoming increasingly difficult. After driving about three hours to central Utah with no real expectations, I found myself in a remote campsite with a few other campers and some very hot water. Welcome to the Davis Hot Springs. Good evening, friends. What is going on? I can't even tell you where I am right now because I don't even know where I am. <laughs> so I drove out to a place called Davis Hot Springs. There's like a bunch of other campers out here. There's some tent campers down here, some other vans over there, and there's supposedly hot springs, um, like man-made hot springs just over there. But I got myself an awesome little site here, just like this little corner lot right down there is a fire pit. There's even some firewood left here. Before it gets too dark here, so you can see the sun is setting, I want to go try to find these hot springs and see if one, they're hot, and if two, I can even access them. So I gotta get my suit on and then go out there somewhere and find the hot springs. I literally have no idea where I'm going or where the hot pools are, but there's like little bits of water everywhere. Oh, that's pretty warm actually. That would be like a nice bath, I guess. I, know, I want to call it like a hot spring. Look at this stuff. I don't even know what that is, but I do not want to go swimming in that or soaking in there. Kind of reminds me of like the thermal geysers at Yellowstone and stuff. This whole area is pretty cool. Well, hi. Is there more pools? Do you know? We couldn't. We couldn't find. You can't find. No. <laughs> okay. Cool. Have a, oh, sorry. Have a good one. You too. I knew these pools weren't going to be very big in the first place, but I definitely did not want to intrude on their little get together. There was only two people in there, one pool. It seemed pretty legit. I'm gonna kind of see if I can just hang out until they leave and then maybe hop in there. Oh! Ah! Oh! Guys, I'm burning. Oh my God. I fell in. Oh my God. Ow. I'm literally burning right now. I need to get out of here. Can you guys see that? I had to take these off. This is like burning hot right now. Holy shit. I should have known. Oh my God. Oh, what just happened? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing in case you can't tell. I guess the three other pools are like on the other side of where I am right now, but apparently there's a lot of people there and I think that's where I'm hearing the music from. Uh, so I just wanted to fill you guys in on that. I think I'm just gonna shoot some B-roll of this area because the light is really good and it is pretty cool. I just don't want to fall in the end. feeling a little bit defeated at the moment that that didn't work out and that um, not only did it not work out, I got just completely dirty, but it's not a huge deal. I'm more or less just a little bummed out because I should have known better um, being in like a geothermal area like this that's sitting underneath all of this kind of porous material is literally a boiling pot of water. I think what I'm gonna do before it gets too dark here is try to make a fire. It is a bit windy, but I brought the material, so got a nice fire pit. Let's see if we can make a fire. Okay, first thing before I do anything is take all of these clothes off. Look at that boot. It looks like it was just on Mars or something. Oh my gosh. Those are staying right outside. So disclaimer here, I am not good at starting fires, especially outdoor fires when it's windy out. I'm gonna do my best because uh, it's kind of like a challenge. So first thing is gonna be kind of clearing out this fire pit, getting it organized. I think I'm onto something here. After about 20 minutes, I think I'm finally getting some flame here. I'm using this board to kind of block the wind coming in from this way. I'm using like some of those fire starter log things that I got from um, Walmart on top here, but I think that's okay. And it's windy, I mean, come on, give me a break. I definitely do not make fires outside a whole lot. It's 
it's like I, I'm getting like the bottom little tender bit lit, but I can't manage to get like the bigger logs to light it all, but I think this is definitely the biggest I've had it so far. It went out for a little bit, but I might be coming back. It's so close. After about, literally about an hour, I think I finally have a sustainable fire here. The wind did not make it easy, but I think I finally got something that works. And I think on the menu tonight is some sausage, uh, some soup. I've been snacking on some broccoli while the fire's gotten going. So I like this meal because it's easy and it tastes really, really good. And it's warm, biggest thing, it's nice and warm. I was pretty stressed about coming out here today for whatever reason. The fire actually weirdly kind of calmed me down. So I think I'm gonna try to do the hot springs in the morning for sunrise. So until then, I'm gonna go to sleep, I'm gonna reset myself, and I will see all of you in the morning. Friends, it is 6.45 in the morning and I'm trying to go venture out to see if I can get a little spot in the hot spring here before, before the day gets started. I slept so well, almost too well. A nice hot spring so to start the morning off will be amazing. So these hot springs are entirely man-made. Like the pool themselves are basically just three cement tubs here that someone built. And then it just uses the hot water from the springs and everything outside. And what's cool about them is you can actually regulate the temperatures because basically this stream here is a stream of hot water flow. And then within each pool, there is another tube uh, that has a cold water flow or cold water stream to it. And you can essentially just block it up with the rags depending on how hot or cold you want it. And then it allows the other hot water to flow in there. So I'll show you guys really quick. So here's your hot water stream coming in, basically flowing in from the pools out there. And then here is the cold water tube. And you can see I just have this uh, blocked up with a rag right now. And it's just not letting the cold water come in too much. So this side of the pool is a little cooler and here, you can see this little outlet here is where the hot water is filling in from. I think this is the first hot spring I've been to where I've actually been able to control the temperature in a pool here. Um, a lot of times you either get to them and they're either scorching hot, almost too hot to enjoy, or they're more just like a warm bath, so it's cool that you can adjust this accordingly, especially as it gets warmer out, you can make it a little cooler and vice versa. So it's uh, an extremely nice way to start your morning, especially getting redemption after a little eventful night last night. Friends, it is just a beautiful morning to eat breakfast outside. So, set up a little uh, outdoor area here with the ottoman, and I had a little lawn chair in there. So, it's actually warmer out here than it is in the van. So, cooked up some eggs, 
and uh, some oatmeal with some lime yogurt. Just enjoy this beautiful area once again. I mean, two weekends in a row, absolutely stunning. Uh, does not get much better than this, man. I mean, I'm, I don't know what to say. Look at the casualties from last night. And then also, my sweatpants. Well, I'm gonna enjoy one more cup of coffee here before it's time to head out for the day. I swear, I don't think there's many things better than just sitting in a warm area, drinking a hot cup of coffee, listening to the sounds of nature. I really don't. All right, the hardest part of every trip, leaving. Across the other way, a car just completely hydroplane and went completely off the road across the ditch and ended up on the embankment. And as I was driving up, I looked on my right and there was a Mercedes down the, down the hill on the other side. And this rain just came out of nowhere and it was super, super hard rain. And I think these cars were just hydroplaning literally off the road. The crazy drive home. <laughs> Well friends, another little weekend mini adventure is in the books. I have about like 90 seconds left on this memory card, so I wanted to thank each and every one of you for watching another one of my videos. I like, cannot tell you guys how grateful and how appreciative I am for your support. So I hope you guys all have an absolutely wonderful week. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Take it easy, fam. Peace out. Woo!